It looks like a big brown blob. What have I done? Hey there, I'm Rose Raccoon AJ. In this video, I'm going to be attempting to make a master block. Not too hard, right? Well, I'm going to be trying to make a must block house. And yes, I know, some people in this game have created absolutely amazing master blocks like houses. But am I one of those people? Uh, no. Some years ago, I tried to create a house and it did not go well. I ended up making an orange blob that was way taller than it should have been. The idea was that I could place it in front of a portal and you could go through and it would look like you were going into a... The idea was that if you placed it in front of a portal, it would look like you were entering a house when going to another player's den. However, it wasn't easy to actually go through the master block, and it didn't work. Why am I doing this video? Well, I do have some confidence that this might go okay because I have made master blocks more recently that I do like, though the one that I will be making today might be a bit more complicated. I found this image on the Animal Jam Archives website. It looks similar to the idea I'm going for. Kinda like a tree house. No, not a tree house. Like a tree stump house. Yeah, that's a thing. However, I want to add more plants around the tree stump and make it so that a pet can go inside it. It'll be like a pet's house. Let's get to creating. Animal Jam doesn't have a super big variety of colours for master blocks, so I'll have to make do with this. Though I think it could be awesome if the colour palette had more options like the one in the Masterpiece Maker. I'm starting by creating the base of the tree stump. And I've already gone over 100 sapphires for the cost of the master block. I've probably made it a little too big, but better to be bigger than too small. Oh hey, my pets have come back from their expeditions. Thank you for the trash. This is not going very well so far. I realize I probably should have used the mirror option which allows you to place multiple blocks at a time because that would be faster. However, I've already decided that all of the sides of the stump will be uneven because it's a tree. And nature isn't perfect. And that's also my excuse for if all this ends up looking terrible. It looks like a big brown blob. What have I done? It kind of reminds me of this cave master blog that I created a while back for a warrior cats roleplay. I mean, it's okay, but it's just so bland. It's literally been in my shop for months. Okay, back to the master block. I think I just need to add more features to fix it. I'm filling in the top of the stump. Hopefully adding new colors will make it look better. Here are the tree circles. Spirals? What do you call these things? Oh, rings. Yes, these are tree rings. Does this entrance look pet sized? I guess if it's a little big, that's okay. I think that one of the biggest challenges of making a master block is making sure that it's the right size. It's kind of hard to tell just from looking at it in the creator, so I won't be able to know if it's the exactly right size until I actually put it in my den. I'm now going to create a tree to lean over the tree stump. We've hit the max sapphire price, yay. I'm really glad that they did put this in though, otherwise my master lock might end up costing me a lot more.
I'm now adding some cherry blossoms. Okay, it's actually looking kind of cute. I have hope. I have created some more flowers that surround the tree stump. When I first started, I did not plan to go with this pink theme, but these colours are so pretty. I just can't stop using them. To finish off, I have added these vines to the tree stump, and my creation is now complete. Though I don't know yet if it will look good in use, as I have not seen it in my den. Time to purchase the master block. This isn't my first time creating a master block meant for pets. Years ago, I created an enclosure for pets, however, when it came to making the master block into a den item, I forgot to click this button, which means that things can go on top of the master block. So when I tried out the enclosure, my pet simply went through it, not on top. It was a disaster. Back then, mouse box didn't really have a max sapphire purchase price, or it was just really high. So it was over a thousand sapphires just to turn it into an item I never used. Anyways, the mouse block I'm making today is one where I actually want the pets to be able to go through it, so that they can go into the tree stump. This means I'm not going to turn this feature on. I've bought the mouse block, now I just have to wait for it to be approved. Animal Gem has already approved my mask block, and I honestly thought it would take much longer than that. Let's see what it looks like in my den. Oh, that's very big. I'm going to need to find a new den to put this in. I have so many spring cottage dens, but all of them are already decorated. Looks like I'm just going to have to buy another one. Ooh. Okay, it actually looks pretty good so far. I think I like it. Yes, the pillow fits perfectly. Let's test it out. It's important to see that my pet likes it. What? Oh yes, he loves it. He definitely loves it guys. No vomit emote at all. I'm just going to choose to ignore that it kind of went through the wall. My pets just have that superpower. I just had an idea. Maybe I should create a village of these homes for all my fennec foxes. That could be so cute. This took a lot of time just to make this one, though it was really fun. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope to see you next time. Bye!